Hi, it's Anne from the Useless Crafter. So today we're doing a cake topper shaker and slider and just the basics, how to put that together, not making it fancy or pretty or anything. So what you will need, and I finally, I think I figured out the most foolproof way to do it. So the way you're gonna do that is you're gonna have the back, whatever back you want, this is gonna be the color that your sequins are gonna sit on top of but we're gonna put that aside, okay? You're, we're gonna build from the acetate paper. We're gonna do two layers. This is different than all my other videos, but I think this is the easiest way to make sure that um, it is sealed properly. You don't want sequins or glitter popping out onto the cake. So I think this is the most safe way to do it. You're gonna have your acetate paper, okay? We're gonna add two layers of foam. You could just do one layer if you get thick enough foam, but my foam sheet was from Michael's and I find that I, I like having two, um, two layers of it. So you're gonna do two layers of the, of the foam sitting on acetate. This is gonna hold the sequins, okay? And then we're gonna put the next layer of acetate on top. So you basically have like a hamburger. You have your, <laughs> your buns on the outside, your meat on the inside. But you see, when you build it like this, this will be separated you can take your glue gun at that point and stick it in and make sure you sealed everything in and then you'll know because when we shake it you'll see nothing comes out once we've confirmed that it is secure then you're going to put it on the back of the slider or the shaker sorry so it's going to be like this right and your sequins are going to be on the inside then we're going to deal with our slider so this is the back of the slider is just like a donut right so it's going to sit on top it's going to cover everything it's going to cover all the glue that we just used okay and then this is the top of the slider it doesn't matter what your shape is of course you know make it um all cohesive but what you want to do is you want to have like a little cutout so that you can have i um a girlfriend a fellow crafter showed me that we use perler beads. So these little perler beads, they come like this. I'm sure you've seen this at Michael's or Joann's. Um, they're the perfect size. So what you do is you're gonna glue it onto your little piece like this. We're gonna glue it, make sure it fits really well. You're gonna put it in between your slider one and the back of the slider. And you see it goes like this. It'll be awesome. <laughs> All right, so let's get started. Um, so the reason why I've tried so many different things is I think that it's pretty leak proof, but every once in a while I see a sequins or glitter and I know there's leakage somewhere. And so I, it's driving me nuts. So, all right, so here's the first piece, okay? So I think the best way to do this is with your glue tape. We're going to run it along the outside. So just get some scratch paper or whatever. I'm going to use this for now. Okay. And I was using the Zyron station, which is right here. Um, and it's great, but it's really wasteful and it warps the shape of this, which it doesn't really matter because it's covered. But I found that it was really hard for me to control. So I'm trying this out and I think this is going to be the best way. So you want to make sure you get it all the way across. And it does get, you know, really sticky. Okay, so we got all the way across. We're going to put it down. You want your acetate paper on top of your the back of this just so that you get a good guide of where it should be. Okay, so we're going to put this down. And that was pretty good. All right, so now we're gonna do another layer of the tape on top of the this round so that we can stick the next layer on, okay? I, already, I feel like this is easier than what I've been doing. <laughs> okay, so now we want to put this one on and you just want to make sure that you put it right on top. It doesn't need to be perfect, but you just want to make sure that we're building a good wall and that it is sealed in. Okay. 
So now that we have this, before we put the sequence in, let's glue down this section right here to make sure we feel good about it. Don't really want to burn myself. <laughs> okay. And I'm getting the seams and the bottom of it. I just want to make sure. So that's pretty good on that side. Let's turn it over and get the rest of this. feel pretty good about that. Now, with the shaker, you know that when it, before it, um, before you put it on the cake, of course you're shaking it, sequins are moving, you're hearing the sound, the movement, but once you put it on the cake, it's gonna sit like this and everything's gonna fall down to the bottom. So you do wanna glue a little bit here and there, a little bit of your sequins. So I'm gonna take this out for now and I'm just gonna do a little dot here and there. I'm gonna put some hearts down and what I like to use, this little stick, that We Are Memory Keepers glue, uh, quick stick, it's awesome because it grabs everything for you. So that way I'm just gonna glue down a little bit here and there. And maybe something with color. Too much cream. Be careful, don't do that. <laughs> of course. Okay. So just a little bit, and then make sure that you get all your glue up. Okay. And maybe one more piece. So we've got that. Now we're gonna pour in a little bit more. And here, it really does help if you have a lot. It, you'd rather have more than less so that you can hear it, you can see the movement. I'm gonna pour some different colors in here so you can see. Okay. And maybe a little bit more of this, okay. So now we're good with that. We're gonna put on, we're gonna do another layer of the glue on top. sticky. I'm going to add just a little bit more just to make sure. Okay. Um, last thing that goes on top is our acetate paper. Okay. So I think we have a good seal. So you can hear it. Okay. I think we're good. Nothing's coming out. Yes. <laughs> 
All right, so now what you wanna do is you want to um, get this on here. So let's just, um, I'm gonna use a little bit of the tape. So now we're gonna work on our slider. So I cut out from the same color as this, just do a little dot. This is gonna be the piece that the perler bead is gonna sit on top. So you're gonna grab your perler bead and just put your, you know, a little bit of glue down, put your bead on top, and then you can just put glue all around it. It really doesn't, you want to make sure it's stable um, and secure. Okay. And then I just have one of these butterflies. This is extra from before. So I'm going to put a little bit, don't put the glue on top yet because you're going to put it in between these two pieces. Okay. Um, now on this piece, what you want to do is you want to, ta I tape down everything up until here so that this part still opens up so that I can put my little slider piece in. Okay. So, Go ahead and tape it down. Okay, and wait for this to dry. Okay. So you're gonna lift this up and you're gonna stick your little slider in. And you see it's moving. I'm gonna pick it up here. All right, so from here though, you wanna tape down just a little bit. So I'm gonna flip this over and put the, and just make sure this is, You want to make sure that you don't, you want to get all the way over, but you don't want to cause this to not have movement, okay? So I would tape all the way up to here like this. All right, so now let's glue on this little guy. So just a little bit of glue on your butterfly. Then you want to make sure that now we can glue this down so I'm just gonna put some glue on here so now you have your shaker and here's your butterfly and this will turn if you have a really big piece and you don't want it to turn upside down, then you wanna put two perler beads and then I'll stay and I'll go back and forth, okay? Alrighty, woo! Um, yeah, so I think we're good. Let me know if you have any comments or questions or if there's a better way for you, but I feel really secure about this. And this, the way I designed it, you can still have room if you feel like there's still, still some space, you can glue it in right now. But. All right, thanks guys. If you have any special requests, please let me know on any of my accounts. You can either send me an email to Anne at theuselesscrafter.com or on my Instagram, Facebook, or YouTube. Post your comment and I will help design your own project. Bye.